The manager gets tossed, but they win this one 6-2. And Aaron Boone gave us all a show. Um, did, you, did you like the tirade? I mean, we liked it. It was fun to watch. I, I tell you what, I'd be, I hate to be one of his kids in his house and leave the milk out or spill the milk. Out. <laughs> Tighten it up around here, right? <laughs> no, I, I, that was awesome. Yeah. And, and I, I think even, you know, what he said, you know, I feel bad for you the way you started. And, and just the expressions that he used, I mean, he got his point across. And if you're the umpire, you're sitting there going, man, this is just not the way I wanted to start the day at all. But he had a point. I mean, there, the strike zone was a bit wide. He, you know, wasn't favorable for his hitters. He went out and fought for his players, and the team responded. You know, in, in, with the technology today, I mean, you have the video and the replay camera or projection right behind you in the dugouts yeah. anymore. So, you know, he's getting feedback from those guys that are they're not very far away, and so he's, he had a legitimate argument. Well, and I, I remember when we played way back when, we'd have to run up to the video room, ask the video guy to pull up the pitch, They'd have to find it on tape, and it would take forever. And it'd be maybe two innings, and you'd finally go, oh, yeah, that pitch oh, yeah. was this far out. Now, as TC mentioned, you get it like that. Terry, can you remember any stories where you got ejected like that? <laughs> you told, us, you told me <laughs> yeah. one about Anaheim. There was a time with, uh, with Murphy. D David, and Wright, and David Wright and Daniel Murphy in the same inning got kicked out of a game arguing balls and strikes. It was the seventh inning, so I went out to argue with the umpire about kicking them out of the game, and all of a sudden, God bless America came on, so I had to take my hat off and kept, up, <laughs> kept the argument going. <laughs> so you couldn't even get it going. You I couldn't even have a big you argument. You respect the country and then <laughs> yeah, get into right. the umpire. I mean, that's exciting, EK, from a player's perspective. You know that Brett Gardner, he you love that. He was clapping. Um, you love it when 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 your uh, manager sticks up for you. You like you like to see the fire. And there's certain times when you go out there and it, it, as a manager, as a player, you're doing it to to send a message. I think though in this situation there wasn't a message. It, Aaron Boone just thought that the home plate umpire was horse blank. I mean, and that's yeah. the bottom line. And Aaron went out there and he he expressed it. And so you know I don't think he was trying to defend. Any, I think he was just tired of what he was seeing over the course of a few innings. By the way, they are already, and this is a true story, printing the t-shirts that say, my right. guys are savages in the box. I love it. I'm going to order my one. I'm, I'm ordering mine right after the show. And Nervous isn't helping his chances of getting that su suspension lowered right. by yelling at the other team. Yeah, not a good look. And you know who had a problem with it? It was uh, Max Muncy. Tech Check out what he said after the game. He said, well, Neris got the save, and he looked right into our dugout and screamed as loud as he can, and he yelled, expletive you. He's blown about eight saves against us over the last two years, so I guess he was finally excited to get one. Whatever. All right, so uh, what do you think, EK? You like his reaction to Neris? Well, so I guarantee you that they got in the clubhouse and they talked about it. You know, Neris was emotional. And should he have looked at the Dodger dugout and dropped the FU? No, you can't do that. I mean, I get he's excited. But look at the way the Dodgers played this series. You know, a couple nights earlier, Neris hits David Freeze. Did the Dodgers retaliate at all during this? No, they didn't. And, you know, I understand the Phillies are reeling right now. They're looking for something. They need something to make themselves feel good. Neris needs something to to pump himself up, they're emotional because they're they're right now, they're circling, right? And I get that they're a playoff team and all that, but they're certainly not playing like one. Emotional, yes, the Dodgers response. I mean, the Dodgers really, right now, they're the Phillies are like a fly on their shoulder. It's like, we don't really care. We'll move on, but have a little respect. I mean, the reason Neris is hitting people is, you know, he struggled against the Dodgers. He's right. a tw 27 yep. ERA in three appearances. And I will tell you one thing about baseball players, they have great memories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there, there'll be another time and another place. 100 plus, yeah. Should they have done something? I don't Maybe think so. I, 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 again, I think Eric's right. I think you know, right now, the way the Dodgers are playing, the last thing they need is to start problems. Hey, look, we just moved on. We, you know what? We lost. Big deal. We're gonna, we'll get them tomorrow. But, but it's like TC was saying earlier, it's, there will be a time. Yeah. There will be a time. Yeah. Somebody will pay for freeze getting Yeah, they don't hit. play again this it's year. Not, no, it, might, it won't it. be, you know, but it'll be a time. And, and how much does a manager get involved? I mean, did you tell guys to retaliate or do they take care of themselves? Well, I've done both. Yeah. You know, there was there was a time I mean, in Anaheim one time where we had a, an issue with uh, one of my players getting knocked down, and I actually told Ken Griffey Jr., "Look, if, we're gonna, if somebody's going to pay for it, it's going to be you." You know, I was taught when I first got to the major leagues as a manager that if you're going to hit somebody, you better hit the star mm -hmm. to retaliate. Yeah, who told you that? 
Uh, Tony LaRusso <laughs> told me that. Hall of Fame manager, Russo, right? Hall of Fame yeah. manager. I would listen to what he has to say. It was Ken like, what's up, dude? Why do you have to hit me? Yeah, but I'm sure he didn't like me? it. I said, who do you want me to hit, Joey Cora? I mean, <laughs> you can hit the big guy on the other team. So, and, and the reason you do that is because then the big guy will go to the pitcher and say, look, Knock it off. I'm not big on getting hit, so you know what? Why don't you quit hitting me? And, you know, it, it happened in Montreal, Pedro Martinez and Larry Walker. So that's how you solve it.